Let's start out with Google and we're going to go to the FAA website and we're going to find here's the FAA website we're going to click on FAA.gov and we're going to find the information on A&P testing. At the green box at the top I'm going to select mechanics. This takes us to the mechanics page. All the stuff an A&P mechanic would want can be found on this page. I'm going to scroll down to testing. And here we're going to select the airframe and power plant uh, knowledge test guide. I suggest you download this. It answers all your questions. This is the FAA G8082. Let's go to the table of contents and we'll see what's in here. Here's all the information on taking the test. Uh, if you have, if you're dyslexic or anything like that, they they've got ways to help you take this test. Um, there's also all the information on here. It, there's there's actually three tests. There's general, airframe, and power plant. The general test is 60 questions. The airframe is 100, and the power plant is 100. You have to take two. You have to take the general plus something else um, to begin with. This explains the requirements to be able to test and descriptions of the test here. There are testing centers. So uh, this CATS and, and LaserGrade is now one company, but you'll have to take the test there. You'll have to pay to take the test, the written test. Here is a sample question, and so you can look at a couple of sa sample questions and they even give you the answers, but they only give you a few. The general exam has 60 questions. There's 13 subject areas that are covered. Of course, there's an oral exam and a practical exam. These subject areas include subjects like materials and processes, basic electric, physics, mathematics, maintenance publications, mechanic privileges, human factors. That's just part of them. The airframe exam has 100 written questions with 15 subject areas and also an oral and practical exam. These subject areas include things like wood structures, uh, metallic structures, landing gear, airframe inspection, position and warning, ice and control, fire protection systems. That's just an example of your airframe subject matter. The power plant, very similar to what we've seen before, 100 questions on 13 subject areas with an oral and practical. Those subjects include reciprocating engines, turbine engines, engine inspection, fuel systems, propellers, uh, reversers and exhausts, and auxiliary power units, and lubrication systems. That's just part of the 13 subject areas. If you fail any one of the sections of your test, you can always retake it. Sometimes you have to wait a little bit of time. You need to go over the, the items that you missed, and then you can take the test again, do some more studying. Uh, this happens all the time, and it's not a big deal. I would not worry about it if I uh, failed any of these sections of the test.